This is Don the Diecast Pirate. Today I have for you something that is very special and dear to my heart. And I'll just bring it up on the trailer. Pulling it out with the old Ford F100 this time because my dad, back in the day, had a 1972, which is what this is. He had a 1972 F250. And I think in a future video, we're going to build a tribute to that truck out of this one. But for this video right here, a couple years ago, my son, who does not play with his Hot Wheels cars anymore, he gave me one or two of his cars, and maybe, maybe it was just this one. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh, trying to hold the trailer down, the, the car was lifting it up. So get this off the trailer since it's ready to go already. Uh, he gave me this car right here. Alright, so let's get it up on the turntable and take a look at it. We'll talk a little more about it. So this is a 1967 Camaro. When I was a kid, my dad had a gold 1969 Camaro. And he would tell you time after time after time it was the first year with the shifter on the floor. And me being a little guy at the time, and back in those days, you know, they didn't enforce seat belts the way they do now and, and stress the safety importance of children being strapped in in cars. So, most of the time I wasn't sitting in the back seat. Most of the time I was sitting on top of the console behind the shifter. And he would have me help him shift that car. And every time we made a shift, he would say, hot dog. So this car is special to me for two reasons. And I know it's not the exact year. And he didn't have the one with the hideaway headlights. And his head, dog dish, hubcaps. We're going to do a little something with the wheels on this one. But it's special to me because my son gave me this exact car. This, this, this casting. And we're going to build a tribute to the car that my dad had when I was a kid and I decided last week to build this car for this week and then I found out that he's not doing too good and you know he's old and suffering from dementia he's 90 years old and he may not be around much longer his 91st birthday is April 20th. I don't know if he'll make it. Let me get it uh, taken apart and everything. We'll talk about what we're going to do with it. Alright, so I got this thing drilled and, and pulled apart and tapped it and put screws in. Now, when I get this apart, I'll show you. So I have very carefully with the mini death wheel removed those tabs from the vase. And this is only, actually only the second one of these that I've done. The first one was the bullet Mustang. And so I did the front first. And it'll use a little more filing and sanding to smooth it out some I think. And then on the back side I did this side first and it actually took out the end of the axle there which I was trying to leave. And then I came up with a better uh, approach to this second side. So it actually leaves the axle all the way out. And we'll try and shape that with a needle file. Looks like I got into the dry shaft there a little bit too. Um, but overall, I'm more satisfied with this than I am the one, that, or the bullet Mustang, because I butchered that base. I mean, overall, you're not going to notice once the tires are on anyway, but... I just, something that I'm trying to work on uh, when I take these tabs off these metal based cars, even the plastic ones, is if there's a detail like that, leaving it on there and not taking it away.
Okay, so we got the base, or the base, I'm sorry. We have the interior in flat black primer, well, black primer. And I was thinking about doing like a gloss coat on this. Um, but I don't think that's going to happen. We'll probably throw some gloss known oil is what we'll do. Uh, we got the body in fully covered in the gold and then I put about five coats of the gloss top coat from Createx and I thinned it with the 4020 automotive reducer. I put up a vote on Instagram the other day for what wheels to use and I really like these green light wheels but I didn't really want to have to put axle tubes on this car and people voted for not like there was not one person that did not vote for these wheels so I'm like yeah I know they're my choice too I was just hoping you guys would pick something different so it didn't happen now there's a couple of things and I'm not going to pull the bullet Mustang down, but there's a couple of things I remember from that. Well, two things. I'm going to have to widen these out so these tubes will fit in. I think I'm going to I'm going to go ahead. See, so this is this is what I the tube that I cut off for the bullet Mustang actually. Um, I think I'm going to cut it just to fit inside there so I don't have to notch these out and then I'll just make it fit in here and then the other thing like I said is when this axle my fingers aren't working for this okay I don't want to put these wheels on too far because we're gonna to have to cut these axle axles down to these ones that are going on very hard I don't want to force just yet because when they go on for the final time there that works so Let me grab the body here. Set it down so you can see. So, let's get this together, actually, carefully. Alright, so that is going to look perfect with that axle all the way to the bottom in the base. So, if I just put the tube in there, what it's going to do is it's going to lift it up and then your tires are going to rub the wheel well. Now let's take a look at this in the back because this is the one that I'm afraid might. Oh, that's not bad. I was afraid that the tires would look too small in that wheel opening, but I think it'll be okay.
somebody was asking on one of my other videos, it was the last week on the Alive 55, what I used to set the super glue, and it's this Insta set. BS BSI Bob Smith Industries Incorporated Insta set for all CA glues, and you can get this at Hobby Lobby. Uh, this is the same stuff that Paul at Diecast Graveyard uses, and he also recommended getting these getting these uh, squeeze bottles there. Now, the only thing that I don't like about these is that hole is a lot bigger than what I really need it to be, because a little bit of this goes a long way. You don't need a huge... I'm just trying to let a little tiny drop out, and a larger drop is going out. So the main thing is, you don't want anything, if you don't want it glued, you don't want it in there, right? Because as soon as this stuff touches that super glue, it's set. It's not going anywhere. I decided to turn the camera back on right now. I'm having a couple of fitment issues. One thing is, is when I put the axles in and I was test rolling this thing, the rear uh, differential was dragging, and it was like, quo, 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 quo. <laughs> yeah. So I had to, I had to grind that down a little bit, and I smoothed it out the best I could. The other thing is, uh, after putting axle tubes in, this interior. And the body wouldn't fit. Now, I may have the interior about ready. But you see those tabs on the base there, or on the, on the, on the front there? Those have to be cut down uh, because they're hitting the axle tube. So, yay, not doing this on camera. Alright, so I will describe what I've done. I held this at an angle like this. So I wouldn't touch the body in any way and screw up the paint job and then so I didn't cut it all the way through I scored it and then I'm going to take the pliers on my Leatherman here because uh, I don't want to tear into this post at all just get it down then just break it off right and then I'll take the side of the death, the mini death wheel and I'll round that off so it's not sharp. Ladies and gentlemen, I proudly present to you a tribute to the 1969 Camaro that my dad owned when I was a kid. Let's get it up on the turntable and take a look at it. So here it is, a gold 1967 Camaro, built as a tribute to a 1969. We stripped it, primered it, painted it, painted the interior in black primer, covered it in the gloss known oil, put the axle tubes in, modify them so we get those axles in the way they're supposed to be so those tires will roll. Struggle with that a little bit. And then detailed the taillights, the grill, polished the base, before we did that. Then I went to reassemble it. And I had to cut the tabs off the back of the interior, which I didn't show you. And I had to cut the 
tabs underneath the painted body. Very carefully scoring them so I could get this car back together the way it's supposed to be. We covered it in the gold pearl satin from Createx and put five coats of clear on it. Put the windows in the floor shine. I think it's a thing of beauty. What do you think? Don't forget I'm on Instagram now. You can see beauty shots of my completed builds over there. I also have a Patreon now. And if you sign up for that, you get to see pictures of my works in progress. You also get to help out the channel. Don't forget my upcoming videos. I will be getting the next subscriber's choice video done. And if that's not already done and uploaded. If you have not seen the subscriber's choice yet, check it out. It's a wonderful thing where you guys get to be involved with my builds choosing a car that i build every month and then in january of next year eat all the monthly cars from april of this year to the december will be given away to you guys and also uh, watch my wednesday releases 6 p.m wednesdays will be the what's in the case series i also will have a an upcoming video of off the hook and new arrivals new arrivals is like mail call i call it new arrivals because i don't open them on camera i get a bunch of stuff all together and show it in one video so it's stuff that trickles in over time and then i put it all in one video to show you guys upcoming uh community builds uh the, on the 15th is the Diecast Mafia. I've already got that car started. It's in the works. Also, an post-apocalyptic build for the Three Blind Mice is coming up. I have to get that started this weekend. I have a build-off coming up with uh, Ron over at Somo Diecast on the 24th of this month. Also, the end of this month, I'm going to be con uh, entering my first entry into the Four Horsemen build the last day of the month got all the cars ordered uh, for the rest of the year that'll be stuff that's coming up all the stuff is down in the description so if you want to know what my upcoming videos are look down in there I'm not going to put in the description when the upcoming videos are for the off the hook and the new arrivals whenever I get those videos done and decide to release them they will be released so make sure you're ringing that bell to get the notification for those and that being said, uh, guys, if I'm forgetting anything, <laughs> let me know. Thanks for watching. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Click that like button, guys. I really like seeing <laughs> you click that like button. You know, I like seeing all the, all the people that enjoy my videos and showing your approval. And also, uh, leave in the comments. Man, you guys leave such wonderful, wonderful comments. I really appreciate it. all you guys do to support the channel the best you can and uh ring the bell for notifications and you know share it on social media guys i mean there's people out here that haven't discovered this channel yet that want to be involved with it they will want to be involved in the subscriber's choice and putting their votes in and having a chance to win the cars and you know we got a big future ahead of us here and i have enough cars to go on and on and on for years i mean there's no end in sight so, you know, uh, hang on for the ride, guys. As always, this is Don the Diecast Pirate, and I will see you next time. Now, let's just see if we're money. Oh, yeah. That's why you call it a mini death wheel. <laughs>